Today on the IoT Show, we'll talk about managing edge devices at scale. And Sarah from Zedita comes with a fantastic solution and a very dangerous windmill to demo that. Hi everyone, this is the IoT Show. As you can see, and I'm Olivier, your host. Uh, we have Sarah from Zedita with us. Sarah, how are you doing? I'm really good, how are you doing? I'm awesome, I'm fantastic. I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to get hurt. <laughs> it's, it's a little more dangerous than like, normal here today. <laughs> Uh, this is a fantastic gadget you brought here, but it has an actual point, which is talking about what ZDD does to help our customers when it comes to managing their IoT Edge devices, right? Yes, yes. So tell us a bit about Zedita yourself and what you guys are doing to help these customers. Absolutely. Um, so Zedita is an edge virtualization software company. And what that means is that we help organizations to protect and manage and bring visibility to all of their edge devices, like this little gateway device that we have mm -hmm. sitting right here, that might be scattered all across their organization. So it could be 500 devices like this in a single factory. It could be 3,000 devices spread across a windmill farm, whatever it might be. We help organizations do the management of those edge devices, um, being ensure, able to ensure that they're up to date and secure and protected. Got it. So basically, instead of having these companies having to manage a new infrastructure at the edge, that is like pretty particular in the IoT space, right? Because it's not like it's a server in their, in their server farms. It's something that is actually in the field on premises, not easy to manage, might have some special software running on it. So you basically guys are taking that off their plate and providing that as a service, right? Exactly, exactly. Okay, because a lot of organizations, IT is tasked with doing that. Yep. And these are in locations where IT isn't there. So they yep. have to be able to still do their job and, and make sure that the devices are in good shape but be able to do it all remotely. Makes sense. And so we at Microsoft in the Azure team, we build that runtime called Azure IT Edge that allows running these modules from the cloud, developing the cloud, machine learning and others at the edge on this kind of gateways. Uh, and so you're gonna show us after we go through a couple of slides, how you're helping these customers making that deployment and management of that device, including the IT Edge runtime, on their gateways, right? Exactly, exactly. Awesome. Tell me a bit more about the solution and the problem, like what is it that IT people have to care about when it comes to an IT gateway like that and how you guys are helping? Exactly. So in a lot of instances with these projects, right, the organization is concerned about getting the value out of the data. And these data, this data is coming in from all these thousands or millions in a lot of cases mm -hmm. sensors that are all over these ecosystems. And IT is tasked with getting that data to some sort of device that can do some pre-processing, do maybe some pre-analytics, mm -hmm. and then shipping it off to the cloud or wherever that might be. Yep. But from an IT perspective, these devices all still require the same tasks that they had to do with the servers that were in their data center, right? In terms mm -hmm. of patching and updating and, yep. and making sure that things are secure and protected. Yeah, and we know security is kind of touchy when it comes to the exactly. IT topic, right? Well, and, and yeah, exactly, because you can imagine that if, you know, I don't know what's happening to mm -hmm. this device because they're all over the place. Yeah. Right. So from an IT perspective, in terms of what it means to deploy a project in mm -hmm. any sort of IoT project is I still have to figure out, okay, what is the what am I building on this device? What does the configuration look like? Yeah. How am I going to secure a device that I don't physically have eyes on, that I can't protect from people, elements, yeah. whatever it might be? You know, all of those sort of basic requirements. How do I get the operating system on that device in the first place? And only, you know, when I've gone through sort of the basic steps, only then am I even thinking about okay, now I need to deploy the Azure IoT Edge runtime. Yes, the application. Right? Yeah. Like that, and that's the part of the job that's the value to the business because they need that application to get the value out of the data. Okay. Right? So a lot of that work is, is the IT yeah, perspective. Yeah, tedious and hard for them to do Exactly. That, right? And then even once they've deployed that, that runtime, they're still responsible for that box going forward. So I, you know, it's not as though it's a one-time thing. Now I have to think about, okay, I've got to patch it, I've got to update my application, I've got to update my operating system, whatever it might be. IT is okay. still responsible for that going forward, and these could be thousands of devices that are all across their yeah. organization. Running things that an IT guy usually doesn't even know about. Or exactly. Understands. Yep. Exactly. Makes sense. How do you guys help them? So from the Zedita perspective, what we try to do is make the IT, the IT part of it as easy as possible, okay. right? So in, in our instances, the onboarding of the device is very straightforward. Mm -hmm. You can work with a partner and get a device that's already loaded with our software, okay. in which case then you just plug it in and it immediately comes online into our interface and mm -hmm. you can manage it remotely from there. Or you can install the software itself and from okay. that point you can manage it all yourself. Okay. But that allows you to set up your network, 
to set up your security, turns ports off that you're not using, okay. takes the default user ID off this box so I mm -hmm. don't have a situation where anyone can walk up to it with a keyboard, try to gain access to it, mm -hmm. um, and also puts that operating system in place. Awesome. Right? So, so all of that is sort of one stop, done very quickly, auto provisioning so you're ready to go. And for all those who are watching us, I think I'm, I'm convinced they understand exactly what you're talking that's about. That's where the so hours of yeah, time yeah, is, yeah, right? And that's yeah, the totally. tedious stuff you have to do yeah. before yeah. you can get to the actual, Makes sense. what you're trying to do for the job. Makes sense. So then the next part of that is providing um, really a single click deployment of the, the runtime. And we'll so, see that. Yeah, yeah, so we'll demonstrate that mm -hmm. just like you're deploying an application on your phone, yeah, yeah. right? It's that easy. Yep. And then the other piece of that is going forward, that continuous operation, right? Mm -hmm. Updating that base operating system, updating the applications that are running yeah. on that device. Maybe you want to deploy other applications on that device that are going to be sending data to yeah. the runtime or to somewhere else as well, right? So how yeah. do I go ahead and do that going forward yeah. without physically having to go out yeah. to these boxes? I'm so happy because I'm getting asked a lot of time when I'm presenting IoT Edge to customers or in events, People are asking, so device management, does it give me the opportunity to update the firmware, the apps, set up, setting up the, the OS underneath? I'm just like, oh, no, it is, it is the plumbing, and then you have to do it. Now I can, then, I can tell them, hey, we have a customer, a, a partner, sorry, that can help you actually making it way easier for you to do all that management of that OS and all the, the devices they have out there running out yet. I love that. Exactly. It's exactly. That's the stuff they have yeah. to do to get to the yep. good stuff, right? Yep. Awesome. So that's, that's the big part of it. So then the other thing I just wanted to talk about quickly here is we've, we've got this demo setup that's mm -hmm. here, right? So we've got our windmill that we're yep. avoiding and, and not hitting, and not that's exciting, hurt. so that's good. <laughs> um, but in, in terms of what we're looking at and in terms of what's happening on mm -hmm. the gateway, right, these gateways could be um, gateways like this. They could be industrial PCs. They could be you know an x86 device, an ARM device, whatever yep. it might be. But our Zedita software sits on top of that, that yep. device, right? So my sensors are plugged into my gateway. The software sits on top of that. Mm -hmm. um, we use a supported version of the Linux Foundation's Edge okay. software, mm -hmm. right? So customers can either go out and get their own software and, and deploy it and do it themselves, mm -hmm. or they can come to us and get a supported version okay. of it, right? But, but so the Linux Foundation's software sits at the bottom, and yep. then all the applications sit on top of that. The, the, the runtime or whatever the applications are in VMs or containers, completely isolated mm -hmm. from each other. They're assigned resources, they're assigned ports, they're not allowed to use resources or ports that they haven't been assigned. Okay. And just to be clear, Azure IT Edges, and you'll see, you'll see that in the application catalog that you have, is one of the many applications that you can deploy through the DDD portal on the devices support, right? Exactly, okay. exactly. So our perspective is it should be any application as, well, as long as that application can be virtualized, mm -hmm. and then that application can be configured to essentially receive data from okay. anything, um, and send that data to wherever it needs to go. Okay. And you could be doing all of those things on the same device. Makes so sense. I'm Makes gonna sense. send data to Azure right now on this device. Mm -hmm. I could have a file server and be sending it there as well. Okay, I wanna see how simple that is. All right, Let's all right. Do it. And here's the Zedita dashboard, right? So the, so the idea of this dashboard is that this is going to give you a snapshot into what's happening across your ecosystem. Okay. And this is a demo environment. So there's not a lot of devices mm -hmm. in this. This could be thousands or tens of thousands of devices. Okay. And, and it's provided as a SaaS solution from you guys, right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. It's a SaaS solution, so this gives you access from any location. Mm -hmm. You can scale as you need to to add more devices okay. very, very easily. Love it. So the, the idea, though, is that at a glance, I should know if anything's wrong in my organization, mm -hmm. right? I don't need to know if that I have 10,000 devices are fine. I need to know that I've got two devices that are having an issue. So really, the dashboard is, is designed around that concept. If I go in and I look just quickly at my assets, these are all my devices that are onboarded into the mm -hmm. system, right? So these are boxes like this box that's sitting right here. And in okay. fact, if I come down and I click on this one right here, this is our box, Got it. right? So this is the box that's sitting right in front of us. I can see that it's online. I can see when we booted it, which was when we turned it on a few minutes uh -huh. ago. I can see that it's using the TPM chip on the device for security, right? Okay. So I also can see a lot in terms of the health of the device, if it's having problems, mm -hmm. it's using a lot of its memory right now. All of this is very visible to me right through the dashboard at a glance. Okay, and once again, you're running the Zedita software there like the operator didn't have to do anything there. It's been like uh, authenticated by your solution. 
Exactly. Uh, use this TPM for securing the authentication and you're just retrieving information from the agent that's running down there up to your portal. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So I can even see here, and I, I, this is one of you, you mentioned, you know, the questions that people have about the setting up of the devices. Yeah, yeah. And one of the things we hear a lot is, well, how do I update that base operating system, mm -hmm. right? Because that's a pain when all everything's yeah. been deployed. Yeah, yeah. So I can scroll down here, I can see what image I have installed mm -hmm. as my base operating system. And I could see, and in this case, I, I don't have a newer version available, but if mm -hmm. I did, I would see that as well. Okay. And right from here, I can update my image. Awesome. So very easily I could do that. I'm just looking at one here. There's bulk operations too, so you can do it across your ecosystem. Love it. Pretty straightforward. Now I want to have IoT Edge running on that one. Exactly. Exactly. So if I want to go ahead and deploy, deploy the IoT Edge, I'm going to go into our mm -hmm. app bundles area. And okay. essentially this is the, basically the app catalog store. Okay. This could be um, applications that Zdita provides. This could be applications from our partners. Mm -hmm. These most cases are going to be applications that are custom to your organization yep. that your developers have built. Okay. Right. So they're loaded into the the catalog mm -hmm. very simply as a JSON file, and then you can choose the application that you need to yep. deploy out to a particular pick a particular it. device, and just I, like you're I'm doing. I'm assuming in one of your all phones. of these are basically containers, right? So basically, you virtualize the the hardware thanks to the container technology. And so, yes, we just publish a, a JSON file because it references a container that sits on some container exactly. register somewhere. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. yeah, all of these mm. isolated containers or VMs, depending yeah. on what the what the situation cool. calls So, in for. that case, if you bring IT Edge in there, you're bringing the latest version of the IT Edge runtime uh, container, right? So, yes. you're always up to date. Yep. And, okay, makes sense. Yep. And if once I've deployed it, mm -hmm. if there's a new version that comes out, when I go in and look, it'll tell me that there's a new version and then okay. say, do you want to update it now? Yep, yep, exactly. So, and all of that, again, is automated in the okay. system. Okay. So, yeah, here's my Azure Edge runtime. Mm -hmm. Again, as I said, this is as simple as deploying an application on your phone. Okay. Right? So, I'm going to choose deploy application. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and give it a name and a title. Title's just used for organizational purposes to help you with filtering. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose my asset that I want to deploy it on. Um, oh. I'm going to pick generic one that I have here. I'm going to go down. I can see my bundle. This is the one I chose to get in here, to mm -hmm. come into this. It also tells me some stuff like how much memory is required, how much storage is required. If I was going to try to deploy this on, an, on a device that didn't have those requirements yep. available, it would tell me. Got it. Right. Okay. So I'm not going to try to push something out there that's going to fail just because there's not there's not the resources yep, yep. to do it. So then I'm going to come down here. And you configure the IT Edge runtime. Yep. Got yep. It. So this is exactly what I'm doing, and I'm using my my connection st string yep. from my device that's already been configured in the IoT Hub. Got it. And and you're telling me before we're starting that uh, in the future we're going to have DPS support as yes. well to automate yes. in a in a safe way the provisioning of many devices because. Doing that manually is not always sustainable. Exactly, because yep. that's and that's what we're hearing from customers, yeah. right? That this this whole process we're going through yep. is great for one or two devices, yep. but you get even more, you know, to ten it starts yep. to fall apart. Yep. And then you talk to so organizations. So by the time someone tries that, there might be actual DPS in there. Yes, Logan. yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Maybe Love by the it. time I fly home today. <laughs> All right. So let me go ahead and select add. And I'm going to see that it comes up and it's, it tells me that it, we saw a message that had been added. Okay. I'm going to go ahead. I'm, I could wait here, but I'm impatient. So I'm going to go ahead and select activate. Okay. And now this is going to take a minute or two depending on my network connection, mm -hmm. but it's going out. It's following the description that the JSON file had specified. It's going out to get my image. It's going to, out to get everything that I need. It's going to download it onto my device. Okay. And then we're going to see it come online and be active. Okay. All right, so here we go. Now it's downloading go. it. All right, so that took just a little bit, and now we can see that we're online. My state has turned to online here. My, my color has turned to green, right? So I can see that my application's up and running. Mm -hmm. We've connected to that IoT Edge device that's in the cloud. Cool, and so if I were to go back to the IoT Hub, I would see my IoT Edge up, and I would see the Edge agent and yep. the Edge up running. And from there on, I can deploy my modules. And I'm ready to go. And put my machine learning intelligence that will deal with the sensors of that very dangerous uh, set of blades. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Awesome. Awesome, Sarah. That's pretty straightforward. Um, we will invite people to go learn more about Zdita and this uh, solution on aka.ms slash IoT show slash Zdita. Thanks for coming here and hope to see you soon on the show again. Yeah, thanks for having me. This was fun. Thanks for watching the IoT show. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not done so. See you soon.